All right, guys, good old boy 32 here. Check it out. We're sitting here on the home review table. Man, I'm pretty excited about this. I will tell you this. This week has been met with some serious failures. Uh, <laughs> barrel nut. How can you screw up a barrel nut? Well, KB32 can show you how to screw it up. How do you strip out a bunch of screws? Well, I sure as shit can show you how to screw up and strip out a bunch of screws. I will tell you this right now. This uh, screw extractor kit is probably one of the best things that you can invest in, especially if you're doing a lot of stuff like I am. Uh, hand guards, stripping out screws on hand guards. Guys, I just, I've had a bad week, but I will tell you this. One of the best things that happened this week is this guy right here showed up in the mail. This is the new Hollis Sun HS507C X2 with ACSS Vulcan reticle. Now you may ask, what the heck is a Vulcan reticle? Well, it's basically a chevron with a circle around it. Now, what does this mean to you? Well, let me show you something really quickly. Before we break this out, this is the 506. This guy right here. This is one of the originals. Uh, one of the things, if you're not accustomed to shooting with a red dot, and I mean for guys who are not accustomed to shooting with a red dot, these guys are out there are shooting every day, it becomes second nature to you. You find that dot. So right there, that is the old 506, where you got a single dot. Now, sometimes people have issues trying to locate the dot. If you don't have an alignment or you don't have the dry fire skills or the practice of bringing this thing up, uh, you can oftentimes, it takes you a second to find that. Now, what does that mean? Well, that means uh, time. Time is money, as, as I would say, especially in the competition world or even in the tactical world. How do we remedy that? It's this guy right here. It has a chevron, okay, which is a 10 MO away from dot edge to edge, and then it has a circle. Now, the cool thing about the circle is it kind of gives you a guide of which direction you need to turn this thing in order to make it work. Uh, so basically, the, the specifications on this are pretty much the, the same as they've always been. Now, the, the old 506, you had to take the uh, whole optic off in order to change out the battery. And as a matter of fact, I just put a new battery in this guy. shows you how old this thing is. But basically, let's talk about this thing. The Holosun 507C X2 ACSS is a new generation of pistol red dot sight packed full of features like the multiple reticle system, solar fail safe, shake awake technology to ensure your reflex sight is always operational when you need it. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty cool. Straight from the book. First of all, you have a manual. Uh, on how to operate this thing. Then you have some blue Loctite, and here again is the optic itself. Now it does come with a detachable Picatinny rail plate right there, so you can attach it to a pick rail. And then this is set up for basically the RMR, uh, the same screw pattern. As you can see, let's see, right here, basically this way that the others are set up. So what I want to do, uh, let's go ahead and mount this guy to this here little pistol. This is a homegrown pistol that I put together, and this is it's the help of the guys over there at Live Free Armory. Uh, they decided to go ahead and start man fabricating their own slides, and I think I've, we went through the whole series on this guy right here, and we packed it up with some Trigicon high-rise optic backup iron sights, and as you can see, the firearm is clear. We'll go ahead, safety trigger, and we can, all we gotta do is mount this guy right here on top of it and screw it in. Now, the system does come with the short screws and the long screws. Uh, I actually never really had this guy mounted onto a slide until the, the other day when I actually got the long screws. That's why it's sitting here on this. And we are going to eventually turn this into a functional firearm. But it does come with the short screws and the long screws and this really cool, nifty little uh, screwdriver set. All right, so one of the things you can do is you can take it and replace the battery, which is on the side right here. Let's go ahead and show you that operation. All right, once you have that screw out of there, all you have to do, there are little slots right here. You take your screwdriver, pop it in, and pull it out, and there's your battery. So you don't have to pull this thing off to change out your battery. But, I mean, how often are you going to change out a battery at 50,000 hours? Hopefully not a lot. So, uh, normally what I do is when we change out our alarms around the house, that's when I change my batteries. So, we'll go ahead and bring this, put that back in. It is pre-coated with a little bit of Loctite. Now, to adjust the reticle up or down, you can use the same screwdriver that's provided here. Nice tactile clicks. Hold on. On both sides. Perfect. Now here's the kicker. 
here we go. Let's go ahead and turn it on, which is going to require just a tap on the side. Now what I'm going to show you, hopefully you can see that. So initially when you turn it on, it's going to be on the auto setting, which is automatic bright and dimming. And right now the reticle along with the circle is in there and it doesn't really do it justice, but you can see that circle all the way around with this bright light, we've got it going on. All I got to do to cover it up and that circle will dim down. Now, Here's the cool thing, in order to kill the, the automatic dimmer switch, I just press the up button, hold it in for about five seconds, and then we go into the, the uh, manual mode, which is my favorite mode because I don't like manual automatic stuff. I don't like the automatic stuff. So there you go, you can see the circle now, really good. And we can adjust it down. You've got night vision also, capabilities on this thing, but look at it like that. Now, here's the kicker. If you don't want the circle, I like the Chevron. All you have to do is hold down the downward button for a period of time, and there. Now, all you have is the Chevron. There it is. No circle. Press that rear button, the negative button, for five seconds, and there's the circle. It's back. But that is really neat. The way it is. How does this relate to the field? It gives you fast acquisition. I like the Chevron because I got a fine point that I can actually see. I have a bad uh, stigmatism, but I wear 1.0s when I'm shooting in competition or actually just shooting. And uh, I'll be honest with you, you don't really need that with this. Uh, same way with the Delta Point Pro, but I will tell you, I do like this thing. So what's the deal? Uh, the CR1632 liquid lithium ion battery lasts 50,000 hours. Uh, basically the same specifications are, as any other 507. But guys, this thing, it's a different world. It's a different circle, <laughs> in other words. Uh, I do plan on putting it on this particular firearm right here. As a matter of fact, let's do that real quick. We're not done yet. Go ahead and take our screwdriver that has the torque head on it. Drop that bad boy in there. There will be a link on my website, KB32TAC, that will bring you over to primary arms. All you got to do is put in the uh, link or in the search engine Vulcan, and it's going to take you straight to this guy right here. The nice thing is these screws are pre-coated with a little bit of blue Loctite. They do provide you with Loctite, and I would recommend that you go ahead and uh, utilize that. But there you go. How's that look? That's a beautiful little deal right there. And as you can see, the circle works magnificently all the way around. If you're losing a dot, you know which direction to go in. Pretty neat. All right, that's it. Man, what a pretty pistol. And it really works well with those... Uh, Back up iron slides. I love it. Let's go to Boy32. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Support red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless those men, women in uniform. 24-7 for our freedom. This freedom is not free. I'm talking about the men and women in uniform who support our Constitution as it was written by our founding fathers. It's KB32. I'm out of here. Y'all be safe. And if you're in Georgia, vote because the Second Amendment depends on it.